Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Um, I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna talk about simple tips on call out. Um, because when we do construction documents or just any kind of documents, labeling call out is really important. Um, for example, you can just like, you know, create a call out. Say, oh, what this was, and then just put text, a bunch of text on it. You know, that's one thing we could do. Um, that's usually how people do it. Um, just put. But the issue, but the thing is, what if there's a lot of this, you know, um, or you know, there's some duplicate of things you want to call out. Um, so for example, there's another. This is actually the same thing, but I need to call out them too. You know, um, what if? You know, all this are actually the same thing, exact same thing. So should I just type in the same thing over over again? Um, so that's the question. Um, so that's the benefit of um, so that that's one one way we can do it. Just type the text. But uh, today I want to talk about the other thing is a faster way to do this, which is uh, actually um, I can even um create another call out for this one okay and then um so what I'm gonna talk about is this show database controls so what this was is you give a definition to vectorworks um and then vectorworks will remember that and then eventually they will um they will pull definitions, all those definitions up, and um, show you what that was. Um, let, me, let me just give you an example. For example, you can you can add a section. Um, this is like a bigger general level. For example, I could say, oh, furnitures. Um, and then in the furnitures, this is nodes in database. Um, basically, you click add again. See, uh, you can then create notes. Obviously, this one, this is like a round bench with, you know, stone material made from Midwest. You know, there is a um, 100 um limit. You know, kind of just whatever text down here, and then make sure you cancel this. Once you cancel this, then you can give a um, description. You just say round stone, bench. Then you click OK. So then there you go. You have this one. Okay, and you can add another one. Uh, let's just say, uh, you know. Food pad that is made from meat was made. It has anti anti sleep anti slippery functions. So just whatever you want to do, uh, just make sure you cancel that, and then you can give a name. Let's say footpath, and then click OK. So I have two, basically like concept definitions, and then under each definition there will be notes. Okay. So for example, for this one I selected, I could just uh, update. See, I update it, so they will show up here. Then click OK. So they will automatically set up this. So you could also select, for example, um, select multiple ones that you feel that's uh, what you want to add definition, and then you can go here, edit notes, go to show database controls. Uh, you can type, you know, find out your definitions. So this one, just click update and click OK. See, they will all automatically show for you. That's really, I think that's a really cool feature. Um, let me finish this one. So this one is another furniture. Um, 
but it's footpad. So just update that. So they have different ones, and then you can you know change how big you want them to show. See this. Um, so they have some you know things you can change. Okay. Um, so basically that's what I mean because they're automatically so it will save you quite a bit of time. Um, and this is actually another one. Um, this is actually furnitures again, but this is uh, um, so you can add you know all kinds of uh, just make sure you cancel this. So metal frames, click OK, update. So it will show up down here. Okay. That's what I mean. So you will save you quite a bit of time. Um, and then also, um, that's what we can do is you'll see here, you can place a keynote. If you click it, click it, you will see um, these only have one thing called which is number one. See here? This is number one and this is number one. So notes and number one. So these two things are connected. Okay, this will save a lot of time. Okay, because we do this quite a bit uh, when we do labeling. Okay, so you can select all of them and place a keynote. You'll see here, this is all the notes, it's all show up here, and then these are all just numbers. Really, really cool feature. Okay, please do this. Um, you could, for keynotes, see here, you can do different ways. You can see here, you show you have numbers, you show as letters A, B, C. Or you can just show note description. See here, these are all the major concepts. Okay, um, you know you can add things. You know you can change things. So you know like a library thing. Okay, really cool. Um, the other thing I'm going to talk about is the modifying. You, will, you actually can align. If, let's say this one and this one. You go to modify and you align. You can align them. Okay, you can you just draw a line basically. You can draw here. See, they will all align down here. Okay, um, another cool functions. Okay, um, so that's this. Um, it's just a lot of. I think this is really time saving techniques. Okay, please remember that. Thanks.